Is there something to be said for getting another game under your belt as an offense, especially? Instead of sitting out, you're actually improving by playing another game and preparing yourself for the Big Ten championship yeah. game. I mean, I haven't thought about it that way, but now that you say it, it, it makes sense. So just continuing to keep the rhythm we got going and continuing to grow every single week is what we harp on all the time, so 100%. And you guys don't play worrying about injuries, do you? You can't do that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> at this point in the season, everybody's banged up. Yeah. We got our injuries. I'm sure Nebraska has theirs. Illinois, I'm sure, had theirs last week. And the team will play the week after that. I'm sure they'll have their injuries, too. So can't make excuses about it. Just got to play, you know. That's How he stepped in at center and stuff like that. And there's tons of stories like that. We had, you know, guard, me, Rusty, and Logan all went down for Northwestern. And then Rutgers, Logan went down. And then, uh, you know, Connor went down last week. But there's just guys stepping up. And we're all ready to play. That's the fun thing about late in the year is, Everyone's got experience, and we know exactly what we're trying to do, what our identity is, and, you know, as long as that's uniform across the board, you know, the sky's the limit for this group. And I'm just really appreciative that everyone's re- truly bought in and, you know, playing playing really hard out there. I mean, there's there's clips on there that look really good for us. And obviously there's things we can work on, and that's the things we're focused on in practice, and Coach Ferentz especially. So, you know, we got more to do, but obviously up to this point, I've been really proud of this group. You've been among those banged up. I mean, was there any thought or even conversation? Like, hey, should I sit out this game for the Big Ten title game? Did you guys even discuss that? Or no, that never not, not at all. Never a thought. Um, no, I'd, I'd never want to give up on the guys out there. And I know there's, you know, we got 120 guys. I'm guaranteeing at least 100 of them would play through with the things that I got. And, um, you know, the guys in the past would do the same thing. So just trying to live up to that standard and, you know, what it means to be Can't a go wrong there. So is this what you envisioned when you decided to come here? Has it even, even been more than you expected? I mean, I think it's been better, honestly. I think that just... I didn't really know what I was envisioning. I didn't really know I was going to get in the transfer portal. I didn't really know a lot of different things. So I just felt like I don't really think I ever had like a straight up vision of like what everything was going to like turn out to really be. But I mean, uh, everything has, has came out way better than I could have ever imagined. And uh, I'm really thankful to be here and I'm thankful for my teammates and everyone that's just like helped me be here. What have you seen from Sean Lee in those first two games and what have you seen from him? What did you see from him last week? What did you say, Sean Lee, what did you see from him in those first two games of the season and then what did you see from him last week? Yeah, I just saw somebody who comes in and competes, regardless of the circumstance, regardless of something, anything that's going down. It's just he's just a guy that comes in and he just makes plays. I mean, every single day he's competing his his tail off in practice, he's working and he just comes in there and he just competes every single rep, every single play. He's going up there trying to get some picks, everything and um it's just fun to see him play. It's fun to see his growth, and uh, I'm glad he's on our team. What do you see in Nebraska's offense? Uh, the quarterback likes to run, obviously, so that's probably going to come into play for you as a cornerback as well. Mm-hmm. No, it definitely is. Uh, make sure we have the eyes on the quarterback, keep him contained. Um, also, they do some things that we haven't seen in a while. Really? Yeah, so it's going to be it's going to be an interesting battle. It's always going to be a challenge. You know, we're in the Big Ten West every game. It's a battle. Got to scratch your claw to get the win. Like what? What, what, what do they do different you haven't seen? Uh, there's a lot of pro style. You know, their coach comes from the NFL. Mm-hmm. A lot more pro style. Um, the quarterback, I don't think we've seen a quarterback as athletic. Maybe we have a 50-plus yard run against Wisconsin. That's pretty mm-hmm. impressive. So, he has ability. Yeah. You guys, Rutgers quarterback was mobile, but you didn't let him do anything. Is that? Yeah. Um, yeah, he, that he was. He was. Um, yeah, I would say they're similar. Mm-hmm. They're similar. I don't think Rutgers really tried to run the quarterback as much no, as uh, Nebraska <laughs> tried to. But we're looking forward to it on Saturday. Yeah, I think it's just how close they are as a group. Uh, you know, they do everything together. Um, they go to meals. They have O-line dinner every Thursday night. Uh, this week it'll probably be bumped up since we're traveling Thursday. Uh, but yeah, they spend almost every day together. Uh, they're in the room early, maybe like 30, 45 minutes earlier, just talking, hanging out. So I think that's one of the biggest things that people don't really understand is how if when you're closer, you play together better. Do you, are you ever invited to the online dinners? Yeah, I, I pop in. Okay. Um, we play some board games and stuff like that. So <laughs> what, what board games? Um, usually it's like, I should say board, I should say card games. Play um, Uno. It's a big <laughs> one. Uno's a big one. That's that's probably the main one we play. Is Uno, just because it's fun. It, so you guys go to like restaurants or something? Uh, we go to uh, um, Logan's house and just 
everybody meets up, brings some food, stuff like that. So is it like a potluck type thing? Or? Uh, kind of. You kind of just get your own food okay. and bring it. Then usually the Thursday night gates, on, uh, Thursday night games on. Mm-hmm. So we'll turn that on, and then if you're not watching that, you're playing or not. Is there something to be said for momentum too? Another win that gives you momentum going into the the Big Ten championship, and also, you know. A chance to get better. Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely, it will give us more things to critique going into the postseason, and then will let us get in a better bowl game as well. Not many teams around here have won ten games in the regular season. Obviously, that's something that's motivating you guys. That <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Definitely, just working like we have every day, just focus on this game and this week. So, yeah. Does Coach Ferentz bring that up, like the ten, the just what makes winning ten games special? Does he talk about stuff like that? Yeah, in the team meeting, he's talked about it. Really, just it's only happened what, four times here, so it's a big thing. We're like, going to try and go after that. How have you played through the injury? Has it affected you much? Uh, it really hasn't affected me too much. Just really going out there, just trying to make plays with the guys and just keep playing fast. Did it take a while to get used to playing with like a something on your hand? <laughs> uh, a little bit. It's kind of weird, but just finishing the season and with it. So a couple games behind my belt now, so it's been going pretty well. Ball comes your way, you can pick it off still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? You seem like uh, Saturday was a, a nice, th- nice day for you. Yeah, Big catches. Was, yeah. Thank you. Uh, it was a good, it was a good win we had. Good team win. I feel like we all played well, and you know, going in there, last home game, senior night, you know, putting on for the seniors and coming out with a big win was nice. So, clinched the dub. So. When you came here, is this kind of what you were envisioning? Big Ten West champs. I mean, yeah. So, I, and I came here to win, so we we doing that. So we just only up from here for real. So, what's the what's the culture like? What's the locker room like? You guys have been through a lot of adversity, but yeah. stayed together. Yeah, that's. I mean, I really love these guys, and I know they all love each other too. So it's a nice team camaraderie, uh, and we have great chemistry in the locker room all the time. And I just love being around them, so it's just fun with them. Thanks, sir. How much do you and Logan help each other? A uh, ton. Me and Logan, uh, and just last week I was helping him, you know, with drills and stuff like that. We we talk all the time, you know, in the in the O line room about fronts, you know, what we call something. Um, I consider him one of my best friends in the online room. Uh, we definitely work together really well. You know, a lot of people probably think that's kind of weird, considering we're competing against each other for a spot. But uh, but we just see each other pushing each other forward. You know, you know, regardless of he's playing or I'm playing, we're both just trying to get better and help each other get better because that's going to make our room better. That seems like almost a microcosm of this team. Yeah, guys that are competing or helping each other. Oh, yeah. You guys have been through a lot of adversity. Is that what the locker room's like? Yeah, definitely. I mean, no matter who's in there, you know, you can talk about Deacon and Cade. You know. Kade's been helping Deacon a ton. You know they they're always talking, watching film together. Um, you can dunk and Mason. You know two tackles. You know going back and forth. They help each other a ton. Talk about stuff. You know you know get a different perspective from different guys. And you know it's not about it's not about the selfishness of like oh I want to play. It's just it's just kind of more of like a team camaraderie of like we we want to win games together as a team. And you know I think it kind of shows out there. You know not every win's pretty, but we're getting it done because we're all doing it together. And it's like special for each other for for everyone to go out there and perform. You talk to Sean Considine much? Does he? Yeah yeah I talked to him. <laughs> Decent, get some text, text back and forth with them. Uh, he's a big part of why I'm here, and you know, obviously they're doing really well at Byron, so I, I talk to him pretty often. Thanks.